Hey guys, here's a short video on how to use equations in Excel. So, I'm just going to get Excel fired up here. And so now I have the diameter of circles. So, just any circles, arbitrary units. And I want to find the area, which first I had to find the radius. So, how do I get Excel to do that for me? Well, the diameter is 2, which means the radius should be 1. But instead of just putting 1, we should make a formula. So the radius is the diameter over 2. So here I'm going to click and then I'm going to put this is equal to bracket and then I'm going to select this square and then I'm going to go divided by 2 close bracket and then enter. And look at that it does it for us. And the good thing about Excel is that you can copy this. So I'm just going to control copy and then you can paste it here. So you just go I'm not sure which one you need to do. Paste and paste and paste and it copies the equation not the numeric value. So that's really useful. And then area is going to be pi r squared. So we go equals, then we go pi, so 3.14159265358989, whatever. And then pi r, so we have to multiply it by r squared now. So we know our r is going to be by, I'm just going to put this in brackets just because I feel like it. So this one, and we want that to the power of 2. And press enter. And look, there we go. Excellent. And so that's how you use equations in Excel. I have more practical examples in a more practical example up here. We're going to be using this in my other two videos, or three videos, or one video, or however long it, it turns out being. But the situation here is you have three people, people person one, person two, and person three, and over a certain t amount of seconds, they have all ran different meters. And I want to find out the average they have ran over each time interval. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, we could just go, let's see, equals this one plus this one plus this one divided by 3. And that will work perfectly fine, but there's even an even easier way of doing it. You go up to the formulas tab here and you go insert function and there's a whole bunch of them here so as you see there's one here average so I'm going to click here go OK and it's going to pop up with this and so basically um, number two you don't fill in by here number one you just click this little square thing and then you highlight the three squares that you want to average or however many it is. Click this again, and then OK. And then so that works a little bit better. OK, and then let's again, we're going to copy that. And you can just highlight everything here, go paste, and it does everything perfectly. <clears throat> and it gives you these errors and just ignore all the errors. It's fine. And now here's standard deviation. I don't know if you know what this is, but anyways, the formula is really complicated and it takes about five minutes to write it out. So that would kind of be a pain in the ass, but Excel does it for us. So let's find standard deviation. Okay, and then again, we just select our three values, 
go OK, go OK, and look, there's our standard deviation. It's all perfect and everything. And so we're going to copy that, and we're going to paste that. Something you have to be careful when you're copying and pasting. Um, so let's go back. So for this one here, the standard deviation was for these three. So if I paste it one cell below, it's going to shift um, these three down also. So if I were to say, have copied this and pasted it here, I'm going to get a way different value. That's because now, instead of doing the standard deviation for these three, it's doing the standard deviation for these three, which I don't want to do. Okay, so I think that's pretty much all you need to know about using uh, using formulas in Excel. Uh, the next one will be how to plot a straight line.